you see that video I put up a little while ago dealing with these two fuel filters right here? If you missed that video, I got a quick link up here for you in the information button if you want to check that out. On that video, I received quite a bit of feedback, mostly from guys saying, hey, you know what, that one that you showed right there, it has an arrow on it. If you hook it up backwards, it will not filter. That is actually incorrect. I've tried this gravity fed like that i hooked it up both ways and the fuel pours out just perfectly both ways there's no check valve or anything like that in here today i'm going to show you why that arrow is actually there <laughs> hello everyone thanks for coming back to steve small engine saloon again thanks for tuning in again Websites right there by the way as usual dot com check that out when you get a chance. Yeah, I got a link up here for you too Fuel filters check this out Sometimes you got to look really close on one of these fuel filters. There's the arrow right there That arrow is uh, indicating which way your fuel should be flowing through the fuel filter So what you want to do is put that arrow so it's always pointed at the carburetor not flipped around so it's pointed up at the gas tank again. Now first I'm gonna show you what will happen if you hook this up backwards. You install it backwards so the arrow is actually pointed up at your fuel tank and not your carburetor. There's a little paper pleated cardboard cup kind of thing in there. So I cut one apart like this so I can show you that. If you hook it up backwards, all of your fuel coming from your fuel tank is going to go in this way and it's going to go on the inside of this element, inside of that cup right there. What's the problem with that? You can't tell when that's full of debris. You can't see if that fuel filter is dirty or not because all of the junk that you're filtering out of your fuel is on the inside of that cup, not the outside. It'll still filter exactly the same until it's completely plugged and you look at that fuel filter and you go, well, that's a clean fuel filter right there. I can't see anything on it. It's because everything is jammed on the inside of that cup. You can't tell that you need to replace that. If you hook it up properly, you install that properly so the arrow is going the proper way, all your fuel is coming in on the outside of that cup going to the inside of the cup and then flowing to your carburetor. The beauty of this is right there is that you can see the paper element getting dirty. Not only that, but sometimes the vibration for your engine and whatnot will vibrate that and it'll, it'll knock that stuff off and bring it down to the bottom of the fuel filter so it's floating in there. You, you'll see water, you'll see rust, you'll see bits of sand in there. And then you know when it's time to change your fuel filter. That is it in a nutshell, seriously. It is simply for visual purposes for inspecting that fuel filter so you know if you need to change it, if it's plugged or not. That's a pretty simple explanation right there. I hope I helped some of you guys out there. Some of you didn't know that. I know that from your comments. So, uh, hey, give me that thumbs up button. That'd be cool. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel, all that stuff. Hey. Do you agree with this video? Put some comments down in the comment section right underneath this video and tell me what you think. Till the next time, if you want to watch another one, there's one right there. Check that one out, click on that video next. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Didn't even open it. That's Lucky Logger right there. Cheers. Steve out.